Hi, I'm Don Norai Sr. I am the founder and CEO of Destiny Image Publishers here in the U.S. Listen, one of my favorite scriptures, which I am sure you all are familiar with, is the scripture that says, When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord will raise up a standard against it. Uh, but what is the standard against it? Uh, is the standard prayer? Well, in the natural, whenever, you're, whenever you are uh, raising up a standard against the flood for river overflows, the standard is uh, a sandbag wall. It's dirt. It's whatever you can pile up to prevent the river from overflowing. Most cases, they're sandbags. Thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of sandbags along a cresting riverbank to keep it from flooding into the land. Well, at this hour, the prophetic word is that God is looking for sandbags. He's looking for you. He's looking for uh, those who will allow God to use them to be part of the wall, the, 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 the flood wall that's going to prevent uh, the evil of the day from flooding into first your own life, second your family, your community, your church, your nation. You can literally be a spiritual sandbag that prevents the, uh, the, the overflow of evil uh, in all those areas that I just mentioned. Uh, but some people wonder what that actually means to be a sandbag. To some people, it means spending hours a day in intercessory prayer, in fasting, in worship uh, to the Lord, allowing the Holy Spirit to arise in them. Uh, those are all valid. Those are truthful and, and, and real issues uh, that help prevent the flood of evil. But the ultimate intercessor is Jesus, and he is our example as the ultimate intercessor. Uh, Jesus uh, just didn't intercede. He walked out the intercession. He became the intercession. Uh, the, the world needed redemption. Humanity needed redemption. In his intercession to the Father, uh, for that intercession, he became the Redeemer. He became the fulfillment of his own prayers by offering himself for the redemption of humanity in all time and space. Uh, he became the redemption for uh, all of us. Now, when we spend time in intercession and prayer, I wonder how many of us really give our ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Uh, true intercessors become those who uh, fulfill their own prayers. Many, many times intercessors fulfill, fulfill their own prayers. They become God's answer to their own intercession, which is very interesting. You can pray, Lord, bless that person. And the Lord says to me, nor I bless that person. Uh, for years, I used to pray for people who needed a car. Not necessarily a new car, but they needed a car. And I would say, Lord, this person needs a car. And I'd feel the spirit of intercession rising up in me. And I'd find myself interceding in the spirit uh, for the family's safety, uh, for their need for a new car. And then finally I'd hear the Lord saying, nor I, they need a new car. And I would say, Lord, I just said that to you. And I could almost hear the Lord chuckling and saying, yeah, I know. And now I'm telling you, get them a car. And I, I, I began to wonder if I wanted to keep praying for people who needed cars. You know, I limited my prayers to people who needed dinner or a hat or a pair of gloves, something a whole lot less expensive than a car, but I jest. God is looking for a people who will allow themselves to be truly a spiritual sandbag 
for the purposes of God. And that means ultimately that you do more than pray. That means that you stand against the flood of evil, whether it is in uh, the nation politically, whether it is what comes on your TV, uh, whether it is within the church. You have to gently, lovingly, but powerfully stand against the flood of evil that tries to water down, that tries to make of none effect the purposes of God in the earth. And we really are that standard. We really are the spiritual sandbags that must learn to speak up. It is just not enough to pray. It is just not enough to believe something is uh, evil. It is just not enough to agree with God that something has to stop. We must become those who are willing to stand in the way of evil so that it cannot come, so that it cannot penetrate the uh, institutions that we really love and that we really care for. Those who uh, are true intercessors will become the objects of the fulfillment of that intercessory prayer. We offer ourselves to the Lord in service. We say, here am I, Lord, use me. What can I do? What can I say? What can I be done? What can, I, what can be done? I will not fear the intellectual. I won't fear the scientist. I won't fear the theologian. I am through with, with uh, running from these people who are apparently more important and more educated than me because I have something they don't have. I have an experience with God. I've met the Lord. I speak with him. He lives and moves and has his being in me. And I will not uh, be intimidated. I will not be put down by those with only a theory whenever I have experience on my side. I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've entrusted to him. Do you know who you've believed? Are you persuaded by him? If so, then you can stand with me and countless, countless others who are, are willing to put themselves, if necessary, in harm's way in order to become a standard, to become a spiritual sandbag against the forces of evil. You know, so if you want to call me an old bag, call me an old bag. That's fine. As long as God can use me, I'm happy to be an old bag. Because I know apart from him, I'm nothing anyway. I brought nothing into the world. I carry nothing from the world. And by the standards of the mo modern uh, religious machine, the system lords of contemporary religion, I'm not worthy anyway. So I don't care about them. I stand for the one that I know. I stand for the one who stands for me. And I'm asking you to do that too. Open your mouth. Say what's on your mind. Say what's in your heart. In mercy, in love, um, in treating those uh, as for those who are in authority, but with, but with conviction and compassion let's stand together and become the standard against the flood of evil in this day and i'm looking forward to doing that with you god bless you